Right, everyone warmed up? Yeah, good. I'm not nearly as funny as James Veach, so I'm going to be really fast. Um, is that my clicker, Dan? Perfect. Welcome to DevOps UK. Um, what's on this week? Um, you can see all of this stuff uh, on various mobile apps, or on the website, etc., which I'll take you through. But you've got conference sessions. They're 50 minutes. Um, they're the main um, thrux of what we're doing. Um, lunchtime quickies. These are 15-minute sessions at lunchtime. They are generally very technical and actually really difficult to do. Try cram something into 15 minutes. Um, it's not easy. Evening boffs, this is a chance for you guys to come along and have something quite informal with um, some speakers and other attendees. Choose a subject and you go. Um, so it's a, really, it's a really great way for um, people to interact. There's also an evening hack tonight, which sounds really cool. Um, some guys from IBM have come up with a, a, a game hack, which is microservices based, where you build rooms, each room being a microservice, and then you deploy it into the cloud. Other people can play with your rooms as well. And it's, it looks really good. So take a look at that. Um, that starts at 5.30, and they have the pleasure of serving beer and pizza before anybody else. So. If that's an incentive, give it a go. Um, Ignite Talks. Um, these are hilarious five-minute sessions, really not for the faint-hearted, where you've got um, 20, 20 slides that auto-forward every 15 seconds and are really difficult to do, but are also a lot of fun. They're in a, um, one of the rooms this evening from, uh, I think, 6.45. Um, also, a hacker garden, so if you want to get involved in... Um, helping your fellow professionals, submitting a patch, working on something. Um, there's a hacker garden in the upstairs area of the expo hall, um, and there's a schedule on the website as well, um, as well as the guys that are up there will talk you through it, and you'll see whiteboards with all of the various bits of information. Meet the speaker. This is something that we're doing new. Um, the speakers that are taking part in this, it'll, this will be at lunch times and also this evening as well. Um, if you're in their session and they're taking part in it, they'll say, hey, come and see me for another half an hour informal roundtable conversation. It's also in the up upstairs part of the expo hall towards the right. Um, and there's a poster up there which has got all the details on. It's really another great chance for you to be able to say, ah, I had questions, but we ran out of time. Now I'm going to go and grill the speaker. So there are um, some nice speakers who I have picked on and asked if they would do it. And uh, thankfully, they all accepted. So that's good. And tomorrow night, at the end of the main conference, those of you that are staying for Friday for workshops and universities, you might want to go to DevRox but leave early because you've got a big day ahead of you. The other people, it's a party. Um, and so we've rented out a microbrewery and bar down the road, and it's, it's a lot of fun and sponsored by um, some lovely people, Lightbend and... Uh, Couchbase, they need to keep putting their hands up here as well. Tommy Tribe and Atlassian. And then Labs and Unity sessions on Friday. Um, if you didn't get the details, um, to register for workshops if you're in on Friday, come along at 9 o'clock. It's first come, first serve. You'll be able to register there and then um, and also go on to wait lists. So if there's something you desperately want to be involved in on Friday, be there early. How to find it all? You can go to the website. So on the website, in the schedule, you've got this stuff. You can also use my schedule builder still if you want a detailed personal view. The My DevOps app. So with My DevOps, if you download the app um, and it's showing France, um, you just need to go into settings and change country. Um, but that's available for iOS and Android. Sound? You have the sound? Yeah. Test, test. Yeah, so uh, we've got it on iOS and Android. Um, what's really important is that you can rate the talks, but not only rate them, but also give feedback. So the, the speakers really like to get like, feedback from you, like what did they do, good or wrong? Because just giving a five star or just a one star is often not enough, so they can really improve what they're doing. The beauty is, is that once you rate, that information goes directly to the speaker in the CFP. So if you're a speaker, you can see all your ratings and hopefully improve or, or just brag about your score. Definitely. 
There's signage outside session rooms as well. You'll see TV screens if you're really stuck. Um, we try and be as paperless as possible. So we haven't printed agendas. Um, you guys use apps. You guys use the website. Um, use the um, digital signage outside. Um, and if you're really stuck, ask somebody in an orange hoodie. Um, somebody sweltering in an orange hoodie at the front here. Um, and, and Mark, maybe just go. to highlight, the signage are using a Raspberry Pi. So everybody's like curious, what is this doing? Don't touch it, right? So just <laughs> leave it alone. It's a Raspberry Pi. It runs on JavaFX. It's open source. You can look at the code. Just talk to me if you want more details. And yeah, if you've got any questions at all through the event, um, ask somebody in an orange hoodie or an orange t-shirt, um, which is the same as your t-shirts, but it's orange and stands out. So hopefully you can see us. Making all of this possible. So DevOps is this, it's a big effort every year. Um, making it possible. Um, there's a steering group. I want to thank Dan, Stefan, Ellie, who's running around somewhere. James, who's unfortunately not very well, and myself sit on that. Then there's a program group, um, and I'll name these people very quickly. If, they, if they're in the room, stand up. Yeah, um, give them a hand of applause. Yeah, yeah. Alison McGreevy, Arun Gupta, Christopher Beatty, Amy Nicholson, Daniel Bryan, Holly Cummings, John Holloway, Mandy Waite, Martin Verberg, Raoul Lerma, Richard Warbur, and Russell Winder, Simon Ritter, Simon Brown, Steve Poole, and Sven Peters. Um, these guys spend literally hours and hours and weeks of their lives rating all the sessions and curating the program so that we've got something fantastic going on. So they're awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. And finally, projects. Um, Manny works tirelessly over in the corner there. Right, Manny works tirelessly making our CFP work. John Mort does some great stuff around our ratings that mean that we can get all that feedback from you. So thank you to those guys as well. Also making it possible, there are loads of Java user groups around the world. Who's, in a Java, who's an active member of a Java user group? Wow. OK, I was expecting a lot more hands, actually. Yeah, me too, actually. Um, just in, in the UK, there's the London Java user group, London Java community. There's Manchester Java user group, Bristol, um, West Midlands, and I think a new one in Brighton as well. And they give so much. If you've got some spare time in your evenings, even if it's once a month, they're well worth going along to. Um, and also, these people, um, who are now all clad in orange hoodies. So um, these are the volunteers who give up their time to come along and um, get pestered for questions. Um, and so I'd like to really say a big round of applause. Thank you to them. OK, kicking th things through. For those of you who don't know DevOps that well, it's this really, truly collaborative experience. When I first came into the DevOps fold, I was like, wow. Um, because there are literally hundreds of people around the world, and probably thousands when we count them all up, that are involved in DevOps in one way, shape, or form or another. Um, and out of that, we get a huge amount of ideas. We get a huge amount of headaches in this sometimes, because the more ideas that there are, um, the more solutions that we need to try and build. Um, but ultimately, it works out really well. And it means that we create these events all over the world um, that are, are all about being full of great content, but also a bit of a party as well. Um, it is our party, right? Yeah. And one of the things that we do, if anybody hasn't heard of it, is DevOps for Kids, which is a non-profit volunteer um, proposition. And we've got one in the UK on Saturday. Maybe Dan can talk about that briefly. Yeah, this Saturday, we've, uh, thanks again to Microsoft for hosting us and Atlassian and uh, Zero Turnaround. A few others have really supported the initiative over the past couple of years. And this year, we've got uh, almost uh, 70 kids coming to Microsoft's uh, Customer Experience Center over in Paddington. We still have some capacity for more, so if you have friends or family that would like to come across, and this isn't about teaching them, this isn't Coda Dojo, this isn't Co Club, this is about bringing along real cool stuff that we've got. I mean, we have Nows that Aldebron uh, have brought over for us, and we've got Lego Mindstorms, we've got kits that cost a lot of money and th they don't usually have access to, but it's about getting in front of a child and giving them, I made this feeling. Yeah. Usually the engineers in here had that spark. That's something that we created that made us passionate about, I want to do that more. I like solving things. And 
uh, we're able to run it again, and it's going to be great. So if you want to get in touch, uh, devoxforkids.org or go to devoxforkids-uk.eventbrite. And uh, uh, yeah, come along or come see me. Yeah, and these things are happening all over the world. Stefan, how many are there now? So I think we already, and Daniel does the coordination of this worldwide, but we have already more than 200 events done worldwide. Every weekend there are multiple DevOps for Kids happening somewhere in the world. Um, we've reached already close to 8,000 children, I think, over the three years that we've been doing this, and it's, it's amazing. It's, it's really, you know, making a small difference, but basically inspiring these children that IT could be a potential career move for them. And what's also very important, 35% of that 8,000 are, are women, yeah. are girls. Yeah. So for the diversity movement and so on, this is really important. I think from a diversity point of view, it's not that we're targeting them either. We're not going out and saying, girls, come along. We just open our doors, and at the age of 10 to 16, which is the target range, they're, they're hungry for this. They really are. At 12, you don't decide what you want to be. You decide what you don't. And I think getting past that and making engineering and all the STEM as a whole be possible, and for them not to think that's geeky or that's cool, or that's a boy thing to do, I think that's only better for everyone. Yeah. So if you understand this vision and you think that um, there are that you'd like to help out, or if you agree that there's a that this is a cool way for kids to get involved and learn programming in the first place, just get in contact with one of us. And all the workshops are open, uh, open source. They're on GitHub. We, we have it translated in multiple languages. So you can just start with your own son or daughter, just with one on one. And, and play with it. So, um, yeah, just start simple, and, and it will grow, and it could actually explode in your face, like with Arun Gupta, who started just with his son, and now he's doing a, a DevOx for kids for 400 children in San Francisco. <laughs> so it, it can really turn into something frightening. I think, fi fi finally, I've been asked a few times, uh, recruiters will ask me, so why do I care? What, this kid's and parents, I don't... They're five years behind being your next interns. These are the juniors coming into your team, and they'll imagine where you were five years ago, and in a blink of an eye, it's gone. So we really do need to get involved and open up the pipeline to your team and to the things that you're building next. And yeah, please do get involved. Cool. My DevOps. So we spoke about the app, showed you a few screenshots. Not going to talk about it too long, but. I want to tell you the backstory of it very quickly. Stefan and I were in Morocco um, in November, and every DevOps event up until then had its own app, and we were playing, we were having that great thing of submit to the app store, oh my god, is it going to be ready one day beforehand, sweating, ah, it's, it's like, it was difficult. So we said, look, let's create something um, that's global with all of the DevOps events. And we were just talking about it over coffee at DevOx Morocco, and I think about three people just came and went, just heard what you were saying, can I get involved? Can I get involved? Can I get involved? And that's the, that's the, the beauty of this space. So there's always projects, and if you guys want to get involved in anything that we do, um, check out um, what, what, what's going on. Keep an eye on Twitter. We'll always shout out there. Um, and on GitHub. GitHub, if you go to yeah. github.com slash devox, that's where all the projects are hosted. So my devox is also open sourced. We got a Windows version, an iOS, and an uh, Android version. And I think the iOS is done in Swift, so the, he's going to release that after DevOx yeah. UK, because he, he used the app to learn Swift, so he needs to really clean up quite a bit of his code. I think the reason that we're saying this, we're not trying to turn you into working for us. Um, the reason that we're mentioning this is DevOx comes with a price tag, which is... Um, dramatically lower than most conferences to attend. And the only way that we can do that is by having a different model which says we want to support the developer um, and what we'll do is we'll ask the sponsors um, to support our effort um, so they effectively um, allow us to put the event on, which we wouldn't be able to. And what we found is that approach means that we're much... Because we're developers, you know, this was set up by developers. A lot of conferences have that for developers, by developers thing. This is actually true. Stefan set DevOps up, what, 12 years ago under a different name because there was nothing out there that he wanted. So all we're saying to you is, if you like what we do, come and get involved. That's cool. Devox Huntley. So um, you'll see some stuff going on. If you haven't seen it out in the exhibition hall, if you haven't seen it yet, 
get on the app stores now, download DevOx Huntley. This is a conference gamification application. And with basically everything that you do at the event this week, we've kind of tried to find ways that you can earn points in the app. And points mean prizes. Um, so the people at the top of the leaderboard, oops, hang on, I'll even show you it. Um, but the people at the top of the leaderboard will get prizes kindly donated by IBM, Atlassian, and Datadog, also by ourselves. So there are three tickets for next year's DevOps UK up for grabs. There's a drone, there's an Apple Watch, and there's also a Pebble Watch as well donated by these guys. So um, thank you very much to those people. Um, if you've got any questions, um, now's not the time to go through it, but there's, a, there's some people out in the exhibition hall um, doing DevOps Huntley, so go find them. Anything to say about Huntley? No, that's fine. You just, just go to the booth if you have questions, and they will give you all the details. But it's a fun way to just experience the conference uh, in a gamified way. Okay, so I need to speed through these things now. Vox.com, if you've never seen Vox.com, it's like DevOx Daily. Um, it's conference-style con content from technical experts on a daily basis on the website. Um, we've got a new project which... Um, there's a session on tomorrow at 11.10? Yeah, 11.10, yep. room 4 or room D. Which is called II Captain on, the, uh, on your schedule um, because it's using uh, IBM Watson and it's pulling in... II, see that, AI. Um, uh, <laughs> and it's pulling in all of the video content that we've ever generated around um, DevOps and also written content as well. And the kind of idea of it is we were bored of trying to search for good answers um, to technical questions. So it's an embryonic thing, and Stefan will be able to go through it in that session tomorrow. Yeah, I've been hacking two weeks nonstop uh, on this, and I really want to just learn about uh, cognitive computing and what the APIs are all about. So in that session, I'll, I'll actually explain my experience together with Sandia from IBM. So um, please come over. It's, it's going to be a blast. Um, yeah, I guess... Um it's That's crazy, right? I mean, it, yeah. Right? yeah so DevOx Planet. I mean, if you look at the DevOx Planet, we're now more than 11,000 developers. So every year, 11,000 developers come to a DevOx edition, which is crazy. We've got 300,000 going to Vox.com. We've got 8,000 uh, children going, going to DevOx for Kids. So where is it going to stop? Well, where this time last end? year, um, DevOx UK came third in the list. And this time last year, Poland and Morocco hadn't happened. And they came along and were amazing events as well and a great addition to the, uh, to the family. And um, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, what's um, going on? Hang on. What, what's this guy doing? What? What? Um, <clears throat> just, uh, you know, classic American move. Move in, take over. Probably want to move this one. <clears throat> Actually, put that on my back for a second, because <laughs> I was wondering if that's probably not the image you're looking for, right? <laughs> that doesn't work. No, don't take any pictures. <laughs> remove them. Remove them. <laughs> but anyway, we're really excited, Mike and myself, and I'll, I'll let you do the word uh, or the, the announcement. Yeah, so live on stage, we're announcing uh, DevOx US. Um, got a couple of slides here. So. Yeah. Yeah, so for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Mike Milankovic. I'm the executive director of the Eclipse Foundation. Obviously, Eclipse has been running Eclipse events for many years. And we were introduced by a mutual friend and been working with Stefan now for a couple of months and um, are really happy to finally be in a position to announce that we're going to be doing and producing Eclipse uh, DevOx United States. So, where and when? Uh, downtown San Jose. Uh, March 21st to 23rd, so mark that on your calendar. The, the beauty as well of the 23rd is that that's when Java 9 is going to be released, so it might be interesting. That's totally a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll push Mark to, to like press the button on stage. It has to happen, right? So. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so pretty excited. It's a great location, um, and uh, downtown San Jose is a pretty, pretty cool spot. So what to expect, right? So this is a DevOx. So we're going to have the classic DevOx kind of feel, um, 200 technical talks. We're hoping to get at least 1,000 people for the first one. Um, the call for paper is going to be opening up in September. September. Yeah, I'll be the program chair for yeah. that. Uh, so, yeah, so we wanted to make sure that 
first of all, first and foremost, that what we produce is a DevOps. Yes. Um, so we are doing the Vulcan mind med meld with, here with Stefan to make sure that we learn as much as we can from, from him. I want to avoid that it's like 200 sessions on just Eclipse. <laughs> so, so I've got enough people. Like we got we can people, do that. <laughs> I know you can, right? But we've got people from Google, uh, from Oracle, and so on. So it's going to be a blast. And uh, we've got some, the program committee, we'll not announce it just yet, but we've got all the rock stars there. So that's going to be really uh, exciting. Yep. Um, so we've already been working with the Silicon Valley jug and the San Francisco jug, and we're going to be expanding that out. We, are, we, we call this DevOps US. Um, so we're going to be reaching out to basically all of the jugs across North America to get, them, uh, to get their support and participation. And <clears throat> like I said, this is a DevOps, so we're going to be doing all of the normal kinds of community things. So there's going to be a DevOps for kids. There's going to be a community by a road. hacker garden. Yeah. We're going to be doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, looking really looking forward to working with Arun to, to do a great DevOps for kids. And the, the day before, so it's three days, but the day before yeah. you're doing an Eclipse yeah. con one day as well, right? Yep. Yeah. So the day, so the, the, it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 21 to 23rd. On the 20th, we're going to have a specific Eclipse event, and... So the people that would have normally come to EclipseCon North America, uh, which is typically a Monday to Thursday four-day event, um, we're hoping will come to Eclipse Converge on Monday. It's a great name. And yeah, and then and then stay through stay through DevOps. And actually, from the from the Eclipse perspective, one of the reasons why we were so excited about doing this is <clears throat> so. It, Everybody here, when you say the word Eclipse, you go, oh yeah, the Java IDE. Well, the fact is, we've got over 300 projects at Eclipse, one of which is a Java IDE. <laughs> and, and getting that message through is like damn near impossible when what we do is we run our own conferences and talk to ourselves. So we're hoping to have lots of Eclipse content here through the normal program committee, but it's going to be about IoT. It's going to be about geospatial. Um, if these are things that probably most people in the room had no idea that Eclipse is even involved in. Yeah. And that's, that's, part of our, that's part of our motivation yeah. for doing this. And it's really great to see these companies, especially also JetBrains and, of course, IBM and so on. But like, I really wanted to have JetBrains there to counterweight also yeah. the Eclipse. So we have a neutral ground. So this is really great. And, and thanks for all the sponsors to already step up and support this event. Yep. Yep. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Mike. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Cool. Look, that's it. Yeah. Um, next up is Maz Mosley. Um, so we're just going to set Maz up quickly now. Um, I want you to have a fantastic event. I say enjoy responsibly. Um, this, is, uh, this is an event where you can all have a lot of fun um, and enjoy yourselves and meet other people. So have a great next couple of days. I'll see you again tomorrow afternoon, like a shell of my former self after running around for a few days. Um, and next on stage, we have Maz. 